Salam and good day everyone. So for today, we are going to learn chapter 3, okay, about graphics. So at the end of this topic, you should be able to understand how to create images, okay, creating still images, understanding colors, last one would be five formats. So before you start to create images, okay, you need to plan your approach. Okay, second one, you need to organize your tools. And last one, you need to configure your computer workspace. Okay, so still images generated by the computer in two ways. First one is the bitmaps. Second one is the vector drawn. So here are the example of the vector and also the bitmap. Okay, we continue with the bitmap. Okay, what is bitmap? Okay, bitmap is pixel based. So, they become blurry when we scaling it. So, you can see here, 1 bit bitmap, okay, require 1 bit per pixel, representing black or white, which means uh, monochrome, okay. So, for... 4 bitmap represent 16 colors, okay. Okay, for 8 bits, okay, per pixel allows, okay, 256 distinct color. And last one, 24 bit per pixel allows millions of colors. So, more bits provide more color depth, hence more photorealism. Require more memory and processing power. So, here are the example of the bitmap file types, okay, including JPEG, PNG, GIF, and also BMP. Okay, so, here are the example of the bitmap images. So, for bitmap sources, we are using clip art galleries, okay, second one, bitmap software, okay, the one would be capturing and editing images, and last one, scanning images, okay, here are the example of the uh, bitmap sources. Okay, for clip art gallery, okay, it's an assortment of graphic, okay, photograph, sound, and video, and it is a popular alternative for users who do not want to create their own images. Okay. And clip art collection available on CD-ROM and on the internet. Okay. Here are the examples of the thumbnail showing the content of various royalty-free photo disc collection. Okay. The one from Getty Images. Okay, basically, the industry standard program for bitmap painting and editing are Adopt Photoshop and Illustrator. Second one, Corel Painter and Corel Draw. Okay, so here are the example of the painter, okay, to create original artwork. And then, to transform photograph into realistic looking painting. So, for capturing and editing images, okay, basically, in the Windows, you will use print screen, okay, features, and in Macintosh, you will use Command Shift 3, okay, here are the example of the using Macintosh, and that one using Windows, okay, so, for clipboard, means that a temporary memory to store the copy, cut, and paste data. Okay, here are the example from the scanning images. Okay, and then you can edit it on your computer. Okay, for an image editing program, enable the user to enhance and making composite images. Okay, alter and distort images, add and delete elements, and last one would be morph. Means that manipulate still images to create animated 
transformation. Okay, so here are the example of morphing. Okay, we are using morphing software to transform the image. Okay, we continue with the vector drawn graphic. Okay, for vector drawn, okay, created from geometry objects such as line, rectangles, ovals, polygons using mathematical formula. Okay, so for this one, the application of vector drawn that we can use. Okay, for example, CAD program. Okay, graphic artist designing for the print media. 3D animation program and last one application requiring drawing of graphic shape. Okay, so here uh, example of the drawing software such as Adobe Illustrator which you can save vector graphic in SVG format. Okay, scalable vector graphic. And SVG file can be saved in a small amount of memory because they are scalable without distortion. Okay. Okay. So for vector, is a line that is de described by the location of its two end point. Okay. Basically, this angle point can be connected, rounded, okay, colored. And scaling would not affect the quality. Basically, for vector graphic, okay, used for illustration and also logo. Okay, so we continue with the vector graphic versus bitmap image. Okay, for vector graphic, we require small file size compared to the bitmap. Require the large file size, okay. And then for vector graphic, okay, you need to maintain quality as the size of the graphic is increased. And for bitmap, okay, it become blocky when the size is increased, okay. So for the vector graphic, you can create your images by Adobe Illustrator, okay, and Macromedia Freehand. Okay, for bitmap image, you can create your images using Adobe Photoshop, okay, Paint Shop Pro, and also the Microsoft Paint program. Okay, here are the examples of the file format for vector graphy and also the file format for bitmap images. Okay, what is 3D drawing? A 3D scene consists of objects that in turn contain many small elements such as, okay, blocks, okay, cylinder, spears, or cones, okay. All of these we describe in terms of vector graphic, okay. So, for... 3D animation tools, we can use Macromedia Extreme 3D, Form Z, okay, typical extend vector drawn graphic in three dimension, X, Y, and Z. Okay, here are the example of the 3D animation tools, okay. Okay. So, for features of a 3D application, okay, basically, modeling also deals with lighting, okay, setting a camera view to project shadows, okay, and you can place all the elements into the 3D space. Okay, here are the example of the extruding and also lighting, okay. For extruding means that extending its shape along a defined path and for lighting, Rotate a profile of the shape is rotated around a defined axis. Okay, so here are the example of the rendering. Okay, to produce a final output of a scene and is more compute intensive. Okay, here are the example. Okay, of rendering. Okay, and then for panoramas. Okay. 
created by stitching together a sequence of photos around a circle and adjusting them into a single seamless bitmap. Okay, here are the example of the panoramas and also the rendering. So, we continue with the understanding colors. Okay, basically this section explains where color comes from and how colors are displayed on a computer monitor. So, first one would be the understanding natural light and color. Second one, computerized color. Last one, color palettes. Okay. So, understanding natural light color, basically, light comes from an atom where an electron passes from a higher to a lower energy level. And basically, each atom produces uniquely specified, specific colors, okay? And color is the frequency of a light wave within the narrow band of the electromagnetic spectrum to which the human eye responds. Okay, so here are the example of the software. Okay, and basically, okay, that one is the color pickers. Okay, uh, allow you to select a color using one or more different models of color space. Okay, so for comp computerized color, we have four types. First one, additive color. Second one, subtractive color. Third one, monitor specific color. Last one, color models. Okay. For additive color, okay, a color is created by, by combining colored light sources in three primary colors. Okay, red green and blue okay rgb okay for subtractive color okay color is created by combining colored media such as paint or ink and subtractive color is the process used to create color in printing okay so, here are the monitor specific colors. Okay, here are the example. So, colors should be used according to the target audience monitor specification. And the preferred monitor resolution is 800 times 600 pixels. Okay, so for this one, preferred color depth is 32 bits. Okay, for color palettes, okay, represent the mathematical tables that define the color of pixels display on the screen. Okay, here are the example of the color palettes. Okay, for the ring means that a process whereby the color value of each pixel is changed to the closest matching color value in the target palette and basically using a mathematical algorithm. So, here are the example. Okay, you can see this one. Okay, for file format, okay, basically, uh, we have three file format. Macintosh format, Windows format, and last one, cross-platform format. So, for Macintosh format, okay, we use the format PICT. And for Windows format, we use DIB or known as BMP. Okay, DIB stands for Device Independent Bitmap. Okay, so here are the example that use most often by Windows developer. Okay, so last one would be the cross-platform format. Okay, as you can see, this is the example of the cross-platform format. JPEG, PNG, okay, GIF, and then PDF, okay, PSD, AI, and last one is the IGS. Okay, so here are the example. Okay, the best image format. Okay, so that's all for your chapter 3 graphic.